The story of Yehud and Tamar is a very, very fascinating and complicated situation. It starts off with the words, V'yared Yehuda, and Yehuda went down. And it's very fascinating because the idea of Yehuda going down, especially right after this idea of selling Yosef, is just very, very interesting. Because usually when we talk about going down, it usually means descending to a lower level. For instance, a demotion is when you are now at a lower level in a job than you were before. So via red Yehuda and Yehuda went down is very interesting. So there's some of Forsham that end up discussing that the brothers were very, very upset at Yehuda, that they said to him, you are our leader and you were supposed to have kingship and you're going to have kingship and you should be our leader. And if you would have told us to bring Yosef back instead of selling him, we would have done it in a second, no matter how upset we were with Yosef. And now that we see how tragic our father is without his son, and he is just bawling and crying his eyes out, we cannot bear to see it. And Yehuda says, I have to go down. I have to separate from the family right now. And they basically, the brothers end up making him, demoting him to some extent. And through the whole story of Yehuda, and Tamar, it's very fascinating. There's a tremendous transformation that actually occurs with Yehuda because in the first place, he ends up trying to protect his reputation of being the king by kind of kicking out Yosef who's saying, you're all gonna bow down to me and I will rule over you. But at the end of the chapter with Yehuda and Tamar, it's very fascinating because then in order to save Tamar's life, he has to decide, should I save my reputation and let her die? Or should I save her life and ruin my reputation? And he says, Tzedka Mimeni, she's more righteous than I am because she knows what she's doing. And I realize now that my reputation is not everything. And that's honestly the truth in life is that sometimes there's something more things important than just the kavod or honor that we get from other people. It's the good deeds that we do. It's the relationships that we build. And I think that's a beautiful lesson that we can actually learn from Yehuda. From, from one chapter to the next, he becomes a totally different, mature person. It's very fascinating.